This is how you can extrude and rotate your PNG logo here in After Effects. Also, if you want to try out other methods how to extrude and rotate your logo, I'm also going to leave the links in the description. All right, so I'm going to go with this logo as a reference. Let's go to Effects and Presets. I'm going to type in Fill, and I'm going to drag it on the PNG. This is going to recolor it, and I'm going to turn off the transparent background. And here you can recolor the logo. I'm going to make it a light gray. Click OK. Now let's go and activate the 3D right here. If you don't have these settings, you can click on the toggle switch. So this way it's going to appear or disappear. Well, let's open up the settings and here we get the position, right click on it. And let's go and select separate the dimensions. And we're going to go here to the Z position, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch. And here we're going to go to the expression, type in index. And we're going to integrate duplicates of the logo to create that extrusion. And this index expression is going to help us push the logos away just a little bit. If you want like more distance in between the logos, you can go and put it like this, minus one, close it, asterisk. And here you can type in the number with the distance you want, but I'm going to decrease it to one, click somewhere here, and I'm going to collapse the layer. Select the layer, press Ctrl D once, and I'm going to select the bottom layer, and I'm going to go here to the color, change it to a darker color. I'm going to go with this, click OK. And I'm also going to change up the active camera to custom view one, and also make sure that you are on the advanced 3D. All right, so let's go to this one, press Ctrl D a lot of times, so you can see it's going to create that extrusion. And I'm going to go with 60 copies. Scroll up, select the first layer, I'm going to go back to the custom view, select default. Let's go to layer, new, and select no object. Press and hold control and double click on the pen behind. So the anchor point is going to jump into the center. Also, let's go to the align, align the null into the center vertically and horizontally. Also, let's go here to the null, activate the 3D. And I'm going to select the layer with the PNG, scroll all the way down, press and hold shift, select all the PNGs, scroll up. And I'm going to drag this pick whip to the null. So now I can go and select the null one, open it up, go to transform. And let's go to the Y position, bring this to the beginning, activate the stopwatch. Let's go here and I'm going to add one. And this is going to rotate 360 degree angles and bring this keyframe all the way to the end. I'm also going to go to the first layer and copy this hex code, control C, OK. I'm going to scroll down and select the last layer. And I'm going to copy paste the code here, control V, scroll up, select the first layer with the null, collapse it, and let's go to the layer back, new, and select the light. I'm going to select environment light, make sure to activate cast shadows, click OK, hit play, and it's going to add these realistic looking shadows. And this is how it looks, thanks for watching.